Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Cat Sexy. So I wanted to answer a question people ask time and time again, and that question is, why do they have slow digestion whilst eating one meal a day? Because so many people in the comments section on many different videos on this channel ask me time and time again this question. So there is many, many different reasons that this could be happening for you, and it's gonna be different reasons for every different person, for obvious reasons. So yeah, you wanna be finding the underlying root cause of your slow digestion, so then you can actually resolve it once and for all. So one reason can be that you are not chewing your food well enough and being mindful whilst you're eating. So make sure that you chew your food very, very thoroughly until it's to the point of being drinkable. Because if you're not chewing it well enough, you're not stimulating the production of saliva within your mouth and it has key components within the saliva to actually break down the food that you've consumed that's gone within your stomach. So this is something to be very, very mindful and aware of. And the second reason can be due to the foods that you're eating. See, if you're eating a lot of food that is not high in fiber content and high in water content, then it's gonna slow down your digestion. So for example, red meat can take around 60 hours to be digested, and other types of meat take a long time to be digested. And packaged processed foods are going to slow down your digestion, at least for the majority of people. So be very aware of what you're eating, and even things like cheese, eggs can slow it down, oil, and all these other different foods as well. So what I would recommend, if you're not aware of what foods could be slowing down your digestion, try removing one food from your diet at a time and do a process of elimination diet. So yeah, for me personally, like I do recommend a plant-based whole foods vegan diet. And for me, I found once I switched this diet that my digestion just massively improved and I started getting optimal digestion that I've sustained long term. And why? Does it work so well? Because the majority of the foods I eat are high in water content and high in fiber, so they are a lot easier to digest and they get things moving a lot easier through the digestive tract. And the third reason could be due to you're not having optimal gut flora. So many people have taken antibiotics in pharmaceutical form and it destroys your gut flora. One week course of antibiotics taken daily destroys around 11 months worth of beneficial bacteria throughout the whole digestive system and the body. And from the scientific research that I've looked into, even after 11 months after taking that one round of antibiotics every single day for seven days, it doesn't actually get your body throughout that time period to even restore all the different types of strains of beneficial bacteria within the intestinal tract. So you wanna be making sure that you're taking a high quality probiotic to optimize your gut flora. And what I say is most of them on the market are actually not shelf stable and heat stable, so they're dead. And a lot of them actually get destroyed within the stomach acid when broken down. But the one I'm gonna to recommend to you is completely heat stable, and it's not actually active until it goes through your stomach acid and into your intestinal tract so you can make sure that you're actually getting a probiotic that's alive and that's actually doing the job that you're wanting it to do. And what I say is a lot of people also don't realize that they're getting doses of antibiotics every single day. If you're not buying antibiotic-free fish and meat and other animal byproducts and foods, then they are laden with antibiotics that are injected into them. So yeah, if you're eating this type of food, I would recommend either stop eating it or get some antibiotic free sources of these foods that I've mentioned. And number five, you are just dehydrated and you're not drinking enough water. So make sure that you are well hydrated throughout the day because this is gonna massively help improve your digestion and how you just feel in that intermittent fasted state daily. And I would recommend avoiding tap water at all costs. It is so toxic. If you look online at the analysis of tap water, it has got so much garbage, toxic waste in there, so avoid it all costs. I do recommend drinking distilled water, which is pure H2O with nothing added to it. Most people don't have access to this in the shop, 
But if you are someone that is interested in making it in your own home, I'll put some links down below for suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality mega home water distillers to your door. And I've been using this one for years and years and years. So do my friends, my family members and clients I've helped and coached around the world as well. And it is just the most amazing pure water with nothing toxic added to it. And number six, which I've noticed, not with myself, but clients that I've coached and helped around the world, is actually having unmet emotional needs. They're actually making them hold on to all of the food within them. And yeah, you may be thinking, what am I talking about? So I explain to you. So for example, someone that I've helped recently, she'd embarked on the one meal a day diet journey and she found that her digestion was being really, really slow. And she was being very constipated. And then I said to her, you actually need to be like working on your emotional body and meeting your emotional needs. So then she started to meet her emotional needs, which I can't remember what they were specifically, but she was feeling, if I remember correctly, some sadness with inside of herself. And I said, you need to show more love to yourself and process these emotions that you're holding onto. And once she started to meet those unmet needs and process and move through those emotions, then she just started to let go of all of the food that was in her digestive system. So this is something to be very aware of. Something that I have studied a lot on this subject is a metaphysical anatomy. There's a book by Yvette Carter that I highly recommend. It's the best book out there that talks about how our mind and emotions and unresolved traumas are affecting our mental health and physical health in a negative way. And so many people's health issues and digestive issues are related to those things that I've just mentioned. And she goes into depth in all the different health issues and tells you exactly what you need to be resolving within you to actually overcome those things that I've mentioned. So this is something to be very, very mindful. And something that I can relate to this, but not with digestion, is so many times in my life, I've had unresolved grief and sadness within myself, and it's been very heavy on my chest, so then I feel very fatigued. And I try to take supplements or do exercise, or go to sleep early, eat good food, and my energy level's too low. But then once I actually go within that unresolved grief and sadness within myself, and process it and move through it, and then it goes out of my energetic and emotional body, then boom, my energy levels go through the roof. And number seven could be that you have low stomach acid production. And if your stomach production is very low, which the majority of people's out there is, your body is not gonna break down the food effectively, so then you're gonna have slow digestion, you're not gonna simulate all of the nutrients as much as possible from the food that you're getting, and yeah, it's just not gonna make you feel good all round holistically. And the reasons why some people have low stomach acid can be due to taking certain pharmaceuticals such as anti-acids, even taking antibiotics, consuming certain really, really bad foods that contain things such as heavy metals. It could be due to a candida overgrowth, parasites, nutritional deficiencies. The list just goes on and on and on. So something that can help address a lot of the underlying root causes of the issue is first off taking the most nutrient dense multi-nutrient supplement on the market that contains the most bioavailable of each nutrient and as broad a spectrum of nutrients as possible with nothing toxic added to them at all and what i do is i put some links down below for us uk and worldwide suppliers that can deliver the most highest quality multi-nutrient supplement to your door and a second thing that you can do to help optimize stomach acid production is by taking one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in eight ounces of water at least 15 to 20 minutes before your meal. And make sure that you stir that around in water and yeah, consume it. And make sure that after you've drunk this that you swish your mouth around with some water that has a small amount of baking soda in to neutralize the acidity from the apple cider vinegar so it doesn't destroy the enamel on your teeth. And so many people also get so many other benefits from consuming the apple cider vinegar, such as it increasing their energy levels, improving their overall cognitive function, improving their digestion, their skin health, and so many other amazing benefits as well. So it's not just gonna help improve your stomach acid, it's just gonna give you a whole host of amazing benefits for your mental health and physical health and skin health holistically. And something I forgot to mention is that multi-nutrient supplement is the best in the world, but it's low in iodine. It doesn't contain essential fatty acids, just like every other multi-nutrient supplement out there. So yeah, to also optimize your digestion, you want to make sure you're getting those and make sure you're getting them from very good, reputable suppliers that sell the best of the supplements I've just mentioned. So I'll put some links down below for the Lugol's iodine 
and also the EPA and DHA. And with the multi-nutrient supplement, which I'll mention quickly now before I move on to the next thing that can help resolve your digestive issues on one meal a day, is make sure that you take anywhere from three to six of those capsules a day with your one meal a day. Never take them in the fasted state at all. And the apple cider vinegar will not break you out of a fasted state in case you're concerned about that. And with the Lugol's iodine, I recommend taking 12.5 milligrams of that in a small amount of water upon awakening in the morning. And make sure the EPA and DHA that you take two to three of those capsules at least once a day with your one meal a day. Number eight, which I've definitely noticed is when I'm sitting for long periods of time, for hours and hours and hours, it definitely starts to slow down my digestion. And I do understand for a lot of people, they work jobs, work your office jobs and other jobs you have sit down for long hours, but just try and get up around every hour or so and do some sort of like walking or movement around and make sure that you're exercising multiple times a week. So find that hat helps improve my digestion a lot. The number nine, which this isn't an issue for me, but I have absolutely optimal digestion, but the majority of people out there don't, is try and not eat as close to bed time as possible. So if you can ideally eat at least three hours or more before bed, then that is gonna help improve your digestion massively because as it gets to a later time in the day, your body is just trying to slow down and wind down. And yeah, for a lot of people, that can actually have a negative effect on your digestion, the meal that you've eaten as effectively as possible. So yeah, just try and eat your one meal a day as early in the day as possible. But I do recommend for most people that you do still eat your one meal a day at dinner time. Some people like to eat at lunch time, some people even do it at breakfast time, but for me it works best to eat it around dinner time. But yeah, there's some times where I do eat my one meal a day closer to bedtime, but for me it doesn't affect me in a negative way. But if you're someone that is having issues with your digestion being slow on one meal a day, then yeah, I would recommend trying to eat it earlier in the day as much as you possibly can. Can. And number 10, which would relate to the first one with chewing your food enough, is just don't rush your food. Don't just try and wolf it down as you quickly possibly can. <laughs> because yeah, again, you're not gonna be chewing your food well enough and it's just too much food for your body to deal with at one time. And yeah, I used to be a person that used to just chew my food hardly at all and pretty much inhale it. And then I wondered why my digestion was being affected in a negative way. And so many people, when they're eating, they're actually being distracted by a phone or a TV or a laptop or something else. So just try and be more within the present moment and actually focus upon you eating that meal, being completely in the present moment. And after you've had a mouthful of food, don't keep the cutlery in your hand, put it down. Wait until you've fully chewed that mouthful and swallowed it and then pick the cutlery back up and eat. This is something I learned from traditional Chinese medicine practitioners out there, and it just helps you slow down a lot when eating your meal. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about these 10 different ways that I shared with you in this video that could help someone go in the direction of actually resolving their digestive issues whilst eating one meal a day. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific topics such as one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics, also make calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos, also show you what I eat on my one meal a day plant-based diet, mukbang videos, what I do in the day videos, and all different types of videos to educate you on many different things to help you sustain one meal a day long term and also teach you about many different things around exercise and fitness to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the energy levels and the fitness levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure as always you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming on an every weekly basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.